Hello, I am Bentham and today we're going to look at a bit of Factorio. So if you have paid any attention at all to my channel in the past week, you will know that I did a, a couple of videos on the demo for Factorio and in the demo video I said that I'd be buying the game because I thought it was awesome. And so I have and here I am. Um, I've been playing it for two days and it's been all, it's all I've been playing. It's, turns out it's massively addictive. Um, and it's actually scaring me a small amount, but but whatever. So, um, I'm, I thought uh, I would just show you what is possible. Research complete. And, oh, research is happening. Uh, I will I will press buttons. There we go. Um, that I wasn't supposed to show you that yet. Oh, whatever. You've seen it now. It research stuff. You can research things. That's quite important. So, basically, that there's a a ton more stuff in the full game than there is in the demo, like an insane amount. So I'm stood here on one of the outposts for my main base. What, what, what I'm doing today is showing you the base that I built in the past two days, and then I think I might do a series where I build another one. I was only allowed that, but here we go. This is one of my outposts. This is a big coal mine. Got defensive turrets because the aliens are quite vicious here. Oh, they've actually damaged some of the wall. I'll need to fix that later. Um, we've got an iron mine he here as well. We've got a solar field, solar panel field, uh, oh, whatever, a big solar farm, that's it, solar farm. And then down here we've got some steam engines as well, powering all the stuff in this particular outpost. So we've got all, all these electric furnaces, smelting all of the iron into plates. And then the plates are put onto this train, so let me hop on board. So we've got this big load, we've got three carriages on here, uh, we've got a big loading system putting iron in, we've got a loading system there putting coal in as well as this um, outpost is also the refueling station for the train so it's coal fired. One of the few things that is still coal powered it's just the train, oh here we go we're off. The middle carriage is for um, copper though I don't think there's any in at the moment that is what the next outpost is for. Now the game is it's not the smoothest thing in the world. There are the frame rate is jumping about a little bit. Also there have been the there's been the odd crash so I do save quite often. So here is my copper outpost because it's night you can barely see it but there's a huge amount of copper here that I'm mining. Have I turned on my mouse? I don't know if I have. That could be a problem. One second this may crash everything. Oh, you can see my mouse. Excellent. So, um, yeah, we have uh, it's smaller processing facilities because we still have a very good copper mine back at the main base. So that's filled up this middle, the middle carriage there with copper, and now we're off back to the main base. I love the trains. It's all automatic as well. It just goes on its own. Okay, here we are in the main base. This is the, the train station. You can hop out here. So this is where we unload all our stuff. Oh, I'm running in slow motion. That's fraps. There we go, back to normal. Yeah, fraps is for some it seems like the frame rate has a very direct influence on the actual speed of the game. So this is where we unload all the iron, the copper and the coal. Though at the moment the copper and the coal don't go anywhere, I haven't hooked those up yet. Here we have the main defense line. For some reason the aliens have recently decided that they want to absolutely murder this particular section of the base and so they've been charging at this wall and these guns have been working very hard. I've had to set up an automatic loading system because if I go away for two seconds they run out of ammo killing all the aliens. So here's a, a the copper mine that we have. Oh, it's it's gone laggy again because we're entering the main bit. So this is the the one of the processing areas. This is producing um, smart inserter arms. I don't actually use them in production, <coughs> but um, they are well. They're used to create a science pack used for researching all sorts of stuff. So you can see all these things are going up. Took me ages to set this up. Things going all over the place. There's another train. There's two train systems in this that I've set up in this game. Here we have some power accumulators. Seeing as there's a lot of solar power in this particular base. We have to store a lot of the power and then to be used overnight. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're having a small energy crisis in the base. We can have a look on here, and this shows us all the energy information. So at the moment, solar power 
is uh, uh, it's just morning so solar power is coming back up to full speed and the accumulators which were had pretty much run dry overnight are now being refilled so that's all good but they do occasionally just shut down and then half of the systems just kind of die in the middle of the night so here we have more processing stuff this is creating um, I believe this bit is making missiles and this bit is making um, advanced circuitry and they're all going into the these science pack things so these are making the science packs and then we've got a bunch of labs here doing all sorts of research though at the moment we're having a bit of a shortage of blue science packs which are made of all sorts of complicated things and so it, we only seem to have two labs powered right now it's a bit of a shame so over here we have the this is the machinery that makes the red science packs which are much more common and then all this stuff here makes the green science packs which are in the middle then we've got some steam engines here just to keep everything running and if we go up here we've got a, a, a big if I can get through we have got a huge solar field I can zoom out actually there you go here's my base so yeah there's the accumulators solar panels more solar panels there's a column of steam engines there more steam engines and then all of this processing stuff I actually have one here that's shut down at the moment it was producing something that I have enough of now so I've disconnected it from the power system so it's complaining uh, if we go over here we're manufacturing steel from iron here and all sorts of gubbins is being moved around now here is the um, the what, what's this for this is for the iron producing outpost that I have over here it seems the train is I missed the train so I'll just have to walk it's not that far this one there goes the train so that train is ferrying iron back to base and then ferrying ammo here except I've not yet hooked up the system which automatically resupplies these turrets because at the moment the enemy has not decided to attack this area now seeing as I've set up all the infrastructure already what um, the iron is running out I'm slowly turning this into a massive solar farm I'm very big on solar farms in this particular game I probably a bit too reliant on them well I wanted to try and become like just have a minimal carbon footprint because then the aliens get less angry but it turns out that solar panels are really really hard to to use as the the backbone of your power system so at the moment they do produce more than half the power but only in the daytime so the, oh actually this this thing here is finished so I'll deconstruct that so the one by one the iron deposits are being mined and when they're all gone this will just be solar panels as far as the eye can see and here we have a very small coal mine that was powering the iron mine uh, before everything went electric and now it's used to refuel this train here here it is I suppose we'll hop back on board so that's pretty much it to be honest but it's it's taken I've put a lot of hours into this too many hours really I haven't like I haven't been recording any videos that's the problem because I keep think I keep like I have the option of playing more Factorio or recording more videos and I've been choosing play more Factorio over and over again I've now found a compromise by making a Factorio video but um, I, I should be getting back to stuff eventually I've nearly like completed this this particular map because there is an end game where you produce missile defense systems to kill all of the evil aliens let's zoom in so I can run faster there we go the fun little feature is that if you step if you walk across these tracks at the exact wrong time you will get hit by a train and die which has happened to me many times but luckily autosave happens quite often and so I've managed to not lose too much progress though I'm I have, have kicked myself a few times for just stepping out in front of a train by accident. It's amazing how often it comes considering there is just one train on the whole thing. So yeah, um, this is very much my sort of game. I don't know if it is yours, um, but you can always pick up the demo if you're not sure and it will if it is your sort of thing it will keep you occupied for a very very long time you will get your money's worth with it Oop! there goes the train it goes very fast as well like su at a surprising speed 
Oh, there's cars as well. Did I mention cars? I've got a car somewhere. It's lost in the wilderness. Let's hop on this train. Oh, nearly missed it. So you'll spend... I think the most fun part of it is when you manage to achieve something that... Well, when you manage to set up a mechanism that does something that you didn't think you could do, but you decided to try anyway, because I had a ton of trouble setting up the science pack system so that I could automatically make science packs and get science done at a, at a sensible rate. And for a while I thought that it was going to be impossible to set up the, the third and final one because of how complicated the whole process was. But I put a load of effort in and came up with a couple of clever ideas and in the end I managed to set it up and I felt really proud of myself. And I think that is the best part about Factorio. It's about using what you have to make these brilliant complicated systems that will almost certainly be completely unique because of the number of combinations you can have. And they won't necessarily be the most efficient but you you, you will have come up with them yourself and that's fun. Right, look, we're going to hop off the train. Hup. And we didn't get hit by it, that was good. And here is my car. So now we can just drive around. Unfortunately, when it hits a tree, it does get significantly damaged. And there are many trees. Oh, 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 we're out of power. Oh yeah, I powered this with like four logs. Let us fill it with coal. There we go, it'll run for ages now. Off we go. We Might go visit a, an alien base. Oh, here's a little outpost that I have. Coal mining outpost. I don't know why. Because seeing as everything is pretty much solar powered, I have an insane amount of spare coal just hanging about and getting in the way. It's clogging up everything. I've got huge stockpiles of it that I'm probably never going to use. Because like the, the iron and the copper will dry up before then. You can't even see it. Let's use the headlights. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that I still haven't... Oh crap! Oh, I, I broke the accumulator. No, 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 no. Um... It, it looks like it's still working, but I don't imagine it is. When it's purple, it's broken. That's a ghost image. Yeah, I broke that. Well then. It's a good job this particular base um, only required three accumulators to operate. On, well, only does require. So it should be fine. Also, the the, the system's clogging up anyway, so not, it's not using as much power being shut down half the time. I've nearly broken my car already, probably from hitting that accumulator. Oh, don't hit the power lines. I, this is why I don't drive the car, this is why I dumped it in the middle of the wilderness, because I did just crash it into a million trees and explode. I've gone through like four cars. At one point it was like, I went through three cars on a single journey, I think, when I was laying these tracks, because there was just trees everywhere and I had just kind of slammed through them and exploded. Let's go, let's reverse round here and go say hi to the train or something. I love just riding around on the train, it's it's awesome. The thing, you put a lot of work in and then you get a lot of stuff out because you get to see the systems that you build working for potentially the rest of the game. And you feel like you've achieved something, That's the I think that's the important thing. That's what games are for, isn't it? You want to feel like you've had an effect on it, oh, don't hit the station, go mess up the whole automated train system. I'll just drive in circles again. We See, I've had a lot of fun with this and oh god the lag! Oh god why? Le apparently going in circles caused massive lag. Or maybe it was the, 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 the smoke particles. This game likes its smoke particles, they're everywhere. Once the pollution is high enough they just get generated around you. I'll show you the pollution that I've generated so far. Here it is, all this red. This is the, like, the, the... This zone's practically radioactive with all the pollution. Though to be fair, I'm sure you can make them a lot more polluted than I have, considering the number of solar panels I've got. So that base is completely engulfed by pollution, and they are very, very angry. And it looks like these guys are as well. Which is a bit of a worry, because, um... Recently they haven't been in the pollution, so the fact that the pollution has got back to them again means they might start assaulting the base, and it seems like the enemies have generally got a lot more powerful since these defences were good enough. So that could be a problem. This place doesn't have very much pollution at all because it, I believe it's entirely solar powered, which does mean that half the time the entire system is just dead because it's run out of power. I really need to fix that. I'm going to have to put a million accumulators in there. 
and also solar panels. But yeah, I think that will do. A cool little feature, by the way. All of the um, the stations get given the names of people who have donated a little extra money when they bought the game. That name is of particular interest because that happens to be the name of a person who I do believe is watching this video. Look, it's you! Except it's not you, it's just someone with the same name as you. Anyway, um, I do believe that is enough of a look at my, at my um, crappy little base. Have I missed anything? I have, actually. I was going to say, you can have Iron Man suits. That's an awesome thing. At the moment, I've just got this um, crappy little bit of modular armor, which I fitted with night vision, which didn't seem to be doing much earlier. I don't know if it's on. Maybe I need to switch to it. And also, a personal laser defense system thing. It's pretty cool. There's all sorts of science you can do. In fact, I'll show you this thing now. I've researched most of the stuff now, but there's still a fair bit to go, including the Iron Man suit. It's not exactly an Iron Man suit, but it, it looks a lot like it, so I'm calling it one. And the fact that this is the portable fusion reactor that powers it, that's how you know it's Iron Man. There's all sorts of stuff about turrets and things. There's laser turrets, but I haven't dared use any of them yet, seeing as I have the massive power problems still. I might just give in and build a huge steam-powered power station and then I can just fit millions of laser turrets and it'll be amazing. Maybe. At some point I will, I suppose. And then the aliens will come charging in very angrily and murder me horribly. But I'll just have to deal with that. Okay, I, that should do. Yep, yeah, we, we've got plenty of episodes there. Oh. These frame rate changes are really confusing. So, well, there's the train. Got alt on again. There we go. Okay. So I may well do a series on this. If I do, I w I think I'll do post commentary with like fast forwarding because the amount of time it takes to build up a base like this is a bit ridiculous, and I don't want the series to last for all eternity. So, um, until then, it should I do it? I shall Research say, complete. okay then I've been interrupted at the end just as I was at the beginning. What shall I research now? That one, energy shield, awesome. Okay, until whenever, I shall say goodbye. We circles, smoke trails. <laughs>